Hi everybody, this is Mr. Bullock again, and this uh, geometry lesson is on segment lengths and circles. Ready? Here we go. Oh boy. Uh, so let's start off with some theorems here. Uh, if two chords intersect inside a circle, so here's a picture of two chords intersecting inside of a circle, uh, then the product of the pieces, product means multiply, the product of the pieces of one chord equal the product of the pieces of the other chord. So let's just put some letters in for these lengths here. So I got A, B, C, and D. Then uh, <clears throat> I always say piece times piece equals piece times piece. Excuse me. I had to clear my throat. So uh, A times B equals C times D. Alrighty. Um, and here's an example. Okay. So here I have uh, this piece times this piece equals this piece times this piece. And when you cross multiply, or not cross multiply, 3 times X equals 4 times 6. And you get 3X equals 24. And 3 goes into 24 8 times. Okay, so this one says that two secant segments had the same outer end point. Here's a picture. Two secant segments. Its secant segment is um, it's like a chord. It's an extension of a chord. Okay, but it's a segment, so it ends out here. So this, is, this would be my chord right here, and then the extension of it just goes out here. That's what a secant segment is. So if these two secant segments have the same outer end point, whoops, right there, okay, uh, then uh, it goes... Uh, outer times whole equals outer times whole. So, for example, uh, if I had these numbers in here, I'm going to go this outer piece, which is 4, times the whole piece, which is 9. You see where that 9 came from? 4 plus 5 equals the other outer plus the other whole. The other whole is uh, 3 plus x. It's not 3x, you guys. Real common error. This is a common error. Don't do this. Uh, four times or outer times inner, outer times inner. That won't work. It has to be outer times whole, outer times whole. Just like the blue stuff right here. Okay. All right. So uh, if you have the same tangent segment and, and secant segment from the same outer endpoint, see how this tangent segment right here, this guy's a tangent segment, and this secant segment has the same outer endpoint. Then it goes uh, tangent segment squared equals outer times whole. So, for example, if, if I put some lengths in there, if that's 24, 16, and x, so 24 squared equals 16. Don't forget, the whole length is 16 plus x. All right, and then you do your, your math and crank out, and you get x equals 20. Okay, 24 squared is 576. So let's practice some of these. You guys find the value of x in each. Okay, so here's two intersecting chords. So piece times piece equals piece times piece. So 12x equals 60, x equals 5. Easy, huh? Okay, we'll get, uh, let's see, here's number two. Piece times piece equals piece times piece. So 4x uh, times x equals 3x times x plus 1. Okay, piece times piece, piece times piece. Uh, 4x times x is 4x squared. And then when you distribute, don't forget to distribute 3x through. So you get 3x times x is 3x squared. And then 3x times 1 is 3x. Okay, so now we have a quadratic equation. So I'm going to subtract 3x on both sides, and I'm going to also subtract 3 on both sides. Quadratic equations, we always want them equal to 0. So then we can factor this. We can GCF an x out of these two guys. When I pull an x out of both of those guys, there it is factored. Now it's called the zero product property. I can say this factor x equals 0, and this factor x minus 3 equals 0. So you get x equals 0 or x equals 3. So you can't have a zero length since x is talking about length. So I'm just going to go plus 3, plus 3 on this equation. So I get x equals 3. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Outer times whole. Outer times whole. So here we go. Uh, 3 times 3 plus x equals 4 times 6. Don't forget the 6 I got from adding 4 plus 2. All right. And I'm going fast. Remember, you can pause and rewind. So... I go fast to try and make these videos shorter. Okay, so distribute the 3 through, 3 times 3, and then 3 times x, and then uh, you get that equation. Subtract 9, you get 15, x equals 5. Okay, outer times whole equals tangent segment squared. So 5 times 5 plus x equals uh, 49, 25, and then subtract 25 on both sides. You get, you're going to get a fraction on that one. That's okay, so you get 24 fifths. Okay, fractions are good, you guys. Don't be afraid of those. All right, so this is a review from a prior lesson that we did, you guys. What I'm going to do first is get that angle right there, that 78 degrees, because of that straight line. That red line is 180, so I did 108, 180 minus 102. Straight lines are great, you guys, 180 every time. And then that 78 equals half the sum of the intercepted arcs. So I'm going to add these two guys and take half of that. All right, and then so I multiplied both sides by 2 to get rid of that half. 
and 156 equals x plus 95, then subtract 95 on both sides and you get 61. Okay, piece times piece, piece times piece. So 18 times x equals 9 times uh, 16, 18 goes in 144, 8 times. Okay, um, uh, outer hole, outer hole. So here we go. Outer times hole equals outer times hole. Don't forget the whole hole is x plus 29 and 18 plus uh, uh, 22. All right. So you get x squared uh, plus 729 or plus 29x equals 720. And it's another quadratic, so we make it equal to zero. And then we get the factor of this guy. And everybody knows that factors of 720 is 45 times 16. And since it's negative, you guys, this one's positive, this one's negative. Factors of negative 720 that add to 29 are positive 45 times a negative 16. I know what you're thinking. How are you guys coming up with that? I'll show you guys. It's, there's a, it's an easy trick, kind of, sort of. It's not easy, but it makes these a little bit easier on factoring. All right, so now it's factors. So now we set those factors equal to 0. And then on this one, I'm going to subtract 45 on both sides. x equals negative 45. Well, since it's length, I can't have a negative length, so that one's toast. Okay, so plus 16 to both sides, you get x equals 16. Let me show you how I got that 720, you guys, and the, and the 45 times 16. What I did was I did factor trees. You remember factor trees back in uh, grade school, you guys? 720 equals 72 times 10. Then I broke down 72 to 8 times 9 and 10 to 5 times 2. And then I looked at these numbers and just che checked to see if there's any pairs, if I mixed and, and matched, could I get... Uh, a difference of 29 okay and then I noticed 9 times 5 is 45 8 times uh, 2 is 16 and 45 minus 16 is 29 okay so I, I rewrote uh, that and I now if that didn't work I'd keep breaking the 9 down and possibly keep breaking breaking the 8 down and start mixing and matching all those with the 5 and the 2 but I got it right there with the 45 and the 16 these guys have a difference of 29 and that's how I got my 29